Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, it's been an interesting day, very, very, very interesting. Uh, I've just got off the telephone with somebody from New Jersey. Uh, shout out to WhatsApp, <laughs> because if not it would have cost him a fortune now it appears that there is a very very strong rumour a strong rumour doing the rounds that Al Heyman right, might pull Andy Ruiz out of the Joshua fight in Saudi that's the word that is the word doing the rounds that the and Eddie Hearn knows about that he's already got a plan B in place so I just wanted to get that out there now and ask you the fight fans the hardcore fight fans what you think about that if it's true does everybody get a refund who's forked out to see Andy Ruiz against Joshua um, if it is true Will Anthony Joshua still go ahead with the show? He probably won't want to. Because if they're going to put a late replacement in, it could get caught out again. But does Anthony Joshua know about this already? I don't know. There's that many intangibles around this at the moment. It's... Uh, it's mad, isn't it? It's uh, what's going on at the moment. It's nothing short of scandalous. If Ruiz doesn't fight and Joshua fights somebody, he's not going to get a belt if he wins, is he? Now, if Joshua has to fight, now Eddie Hearn's going to get paid. But does that mean that Andy Ruiz can have a fight? So, is my prediction for? Andy Ruiz as next fight after the Joshua win to fight Wilder if Wilder fights Ortiz is Tyson Fury going to pull out of the Wilder rematch I think he I think he will uh, but that's just going on my gut instincts but there's an old saying though isn't there regarding rumour you know Al Capone once said in 1925 rumour is a pipe blown by surmisers, jealousies and conjectures. People are either surmising, they're plain old jealous, or they're just conjecting bullshit. Now when I said that about the £25 pay-per-view, everybody said I was crazy, didn't they? Porky, you're crazy. Look, I study the game, don't I? I study the game, it's all I do. I'm pretty sad, aren't I, really? I've got no else in my life, have I, apart from that and polishing my car. So, but, mate, I want you to know that you heard it here first, just like in June when I told you about the £25 pay-per-view. Uh, I never uh, got the white-collar fight right between KSI and Logan Paul because I never thought that Eddie Earn stooped that low. But desperate people do desperate things desperate people do desperate things don't they so but it's one of the things in it it's boxing in it you know when you want to end the conversation in boxing you just turn around and say well it's a business in it that means that they just want to end the conversation or what what people say when they're tongue tied they just say well it is what it is in it that means that the proven wrong work they just want to say well it is what it is well, I'm not going to say that, and I'm not conjecting bullshit. I tell you what I hear. I don't want to tell you everything, because sometimes I have to protect people, but I weigh it up. Now, there's a few people in media, big hitters in media, who I've been a little bit disappointed with the last few weeks, because uh, they ring me up and they talk to me and try and give me advice, but then they're going to say the opposite thing on, on social media or in interviews, and... So I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go my own way and I'm going to figure things out for myself. It's all I do. I study the game, don't I? I'm just like everybody else. But I look at it like this because I get to see what happens on a daily basis. 
I think that it, it can't be that much different we're dealing with sky fighters or you know BT fighters but I'll tell you one thing you know, I've been a critic of Frank Warren's of it years but hmm, you've got to say that Frank Warren he's a better boxing man than Eddie Earn, isn't he Eddie's a numbers man isn't he he wants to get money at all costs and get his court he wants to get you out there and get you earning now if Anthony Joshua doesn't fight Ruiz in December I mean how long have we got now we've got two week, two and a half weeks to go if he doesn't fight Andy Ruiz in the next two and a half week they will still fight he'll not pull the plug well that will mean that Ruiz can have a fight and he'll fight Wilder but what Eddie will be saying then is well it's not about belts no more Anthony's already won every belt technically he didn't get the WBC but it isn't about the belts, it's about the fight. So, I'm just giving you something to think on. And uh, in the room that I've put out, is something that I've been speaking to somebody about in America. And he said he heard something that uh, Eddie Earn's got a plan B in case Ruiz does pull out. And this plan B is getting paid very well just to train and be on standby. But how would you pay somebody that amount of money? Uh, so, I just want to ask you the fans what you what you think about that that's all um as regards the the entrance thing you know that porky thing that comes on at the beginning of my videos that's not on no more now that uh obviously i've gone my own separate ways now and i but that's not on and uh i'm not going to go into that but the channel's mine now my channel my rules porky rules but uh I've got somebody coming to see me again. I've already seen some one, one person. I've seen somebody regarding uh, making a few alterations, and it's just a case of finding time to sort that out. But the main thing is that the content gets out, and I can get the videos uploaded. There ain't going to be any more of them cartoon thumbnails or superimposed heads and that, because I'm I'm not as talented as what Nicola were. But main thing is videos are getting out there. They're not going to be put together. They're going to be no more than 30 minutes long. If it's a part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so be it. The one other day, uh, I had a few camera issues where it was stuck on the 12 minutes thing. I now know how to get that. Uh, so it does 30 minutes, but that's all the maximum. That's all YouTubers are allowed 30 minutes at a time. But I'm learning on the job. Uh, my good friend at, at Leeds, Paul's el helping me and going to be helping me down the line. And there's a few people that are going to guide me and uh, help get the content out for you people. Now, like I said, there's going to be some big changes soon. Some people might not like the changes. Well, so be it. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. If you like it, watch and subscribe. I'm grateful, but... I'm not forcing anybody to watch the channel. If you want to go watch other channels, go watch them. But I can assure you that after my channel, uh, I Feel Boxing, the beautiful podcast of Beautiful Boxing, I think we at I Feel Boxing on Twitter, Boxing Asylum, the, the Co Boxing Coalition, uh, who else? Ultra Tech Sports Raw, after us guys don't really see many other channels that are not hanging out at back of people and when I mean hanging out at back of people you know what I mean don't you hanging out at the back of people these people should be embarrassed but what can you do it's boxing and it? it's a business it is what it is no it ain't a business and it is what it is fight fans have feelings too you know do you know what I mean fight fans have feelings they want they want to not be abused you know what I mean? We're already being abused by Sky Sports for Premier League football, aren't we? So why should boxing fans be abused? Why should we have to pay 25 quid for a pay-per-view fight when our guy got beat in New York and he's now going out to Saudi and he ain't even got a belt? He's not even bringing a belt to the table, but yet we're paying an extra fiver. <laughs> And now, if Ruiz doesn't even fight him, are we still going to be paying 25 quid for Eddie Earn to put some guy in on a third of money that Ruiz is getting? For it to be 25 quid, what's all that about? Eh? If that happens, and we're paying 25 quid, 
and it isn't for the World Heavyweight Championship. What what's going on? Why why are these people allowed to get away with this? Why is Eddie Earn allowed to get away with saying that uh, you get a free visa with your ticket? Not true, is it? He lied. What about this with this Julio Cesar Chavez thing where he's broke the Mamad Ali Act? Thomas Hauser, shout out to Thomas Hauser. Hope you got my email yesterday, Thomas. Uh, shout out to Thomas Hauser, sticking it to Eddie Hearn again. Thomas Hauser, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. You are the man. Thomas Hauser is the man. He's a man after my own heart, man. He's a boxing trooper like me. Because I'm taking it to the next level now, this. Now, I want hardcore boxing fans to get behind me. If you don't want to get behind me, don't email me or YouTube message me and telling me that you're hardcore. Because you're not. Alright. I don't want hardcore fans around me now. Now. Like Dennis Den hardcore boxing fan. Oh, I'm going to pay it. Did you hear Dennis in that restaurant overnight? Well, I'm going to pay it. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's all right for millionaires, isn't it? But what can you do? What can you do? So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's the greatest sport of earth on earth. Shout out to Anthony Lever at Matchroom. I know you're watching. Hey, eh? We know you're watching, don't we? Anthony Lever. The Rock Hudson of boxing. So, bump. Catch you later.